call halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule well. Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect that I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. Presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures tell us to do. All right. And following the example of the elders and the apostles of great millstone who are ushering in the kingdom of heaven, whether you can receive that or not. All right. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. Um, I'm the brother Yarmai from the great millstone Chicago camp. This is brother Kapatazab, great millstone Chicago. And uh, basically, um, you know, we were just um, chilling and shit, and uh, we was, you know, thinking about, you know, we was thinking about that guy, Stan Lee, like, uh, you know, who created the Marvel Universe, and, and like he said, Mar the Marvel Universe is a reflection of the world outside of today. You, you just got to see it. But basically, um, you know, whether he was an Israelite or not, like, I don't know that, that's up to the most high, but, um, you know, God knows, you know, but he had a heavy heavy and the elders and the apostles always taught us that that was one of the first things me and this brother learned earlier on that um these these uh movie producers are heavy into the scriptures mm -hmm. all right and that dude was heavy into the scriptures man he even had a character called um i think he was called the god of all gods i don't know the, the brother elder uh kazak he know he did a lesson on him but um he had that he had thanos all right he he had a, a lot of spiritual the x-men a lot of spiritual cartoons and movies and things that he brought right out of the scriptures. He knew that Israel was the salt of the earth. Even uh, his one of his most famous characters, right up there with uh, Spider-Man, you know, that's one of his most famous characters. All right, was uh, Professor Magneto, Professor Xavier and Magneto, the, the, the leaders of the mutants. And he said he uh, patented them out to Martin Luther King and uh, Malcolm X. Because he said it. He said Marvel is a reflection of the world that's around us. All right, and even speaking of Spider-Man, he, he said he always wanted Spider-Man to be a mask hero because he didn't want the kids to know whether he was black or white. He just wanted them to know when he was Spider-Man, you know, he was a hero. And, um, yeah, man, he had, um, like, um, you know, you had movies about these characters that um, are very spiritual. Like, uh, one of my favorite ones and one I always bring out is uh, writing the scriptures out the book of Amos. If you can get it, though, thou dickens in the hill. There was a Stan Lee movie, a Marvel movie, with uh, Magneto, all right? And, and, and his group was called The Brotherhood. It's, it's funny that Magneto's group was called The Brotherhood, ironically. When he had um, he had went and snatched that bunker, he had went to Washington, D.C., and he, he, he flew the Sentinels with him. But he could have just flew there and did it. But he, what he did was he snatched up a baseball field. It was a big, a whole baseball stadium, <laughs> and it was a circular, a big round circular object, like the scriptures say, a wheel, a flying wheel, spinning, you know, uh, uh, when the scriptures speak of the chariots, like it said in Ezekiel, the uh, first chapter, all right, but um, he had the, um, that baseball field behind him like a chariot, and he had the holy angels with him, he had them big sentinels, he gave them the download, it was like six or seven of them, it was a group of them, but he had them big sentinels, Sentinels with them, probably less than that, but they was like the holy angels. They was real big, they was real tall, and he had the chariots, and he had the angels, man. And he went to, to, to the elites, man, and he snatched their bunker up out of the ground, man. And he put turned all their guns towards him, man. And, and, and he told the whole world, he said, this is a glimpse of what the future. This is why he said, my, my people, you can look up the scene, he said, my people will be the future of society, man, basically. Right. He said, uh, this is only a glimpse of what my race is about to unleash to you all this. All right? So they had a deep understanding of the scriptures. That's right out the Bible. This is Amos 9 and 2. Though they dig in the hill, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out of there. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, then will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. That's right. Just like um, and even in uh, that uh, that movie, another one. I, I it came to my mind as I was thinking about X Men: Days of Future Past. Uh, X Men: Apocalypse. And Apocalypse was he, he was like yeah, I was shot exactly. in, in that movie, man. He gathered all the X Men. Yep. All right. He gathered all the X Men. 
he, he took him, man. He took Magneto. He told him to dig deep. And ironically, Magneto's supposed to be a fake Jew at that. He's supposed to be a Jew. Yeah, the Auschwitz. He's supposed yeah, to be yeah, a Jew. Yeah, yeah. He took him to there. Mm -hmm. He showed him, you know, what they did to his 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 forefathers. Right. You know, and he dug in the ground and he yep. rooted that shit up. The waters was coming up, but the apocalypse shot the missiles, man. Yep. He 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 said yep. no more no more superpowers. <laughs> Yep. He went against all the world powers, man, and he, he had plugged his mind into the TV, mm -hmm. and he seen all the wickedness. He judged the whole earth, yep. man. Yep. He said, this is, no. <laughs> he said, this this place, he said, I come to restore order. Mm -hmm. This place has no order, man. Get get that, and, uh, if you can find it in Job, where darkness says it's light. Oh, yeah. That's been coming out here. Where darkness says it's light. Oh. Uh, let see what's going on. Right. And I'm gonna get that on. Um, so they, the, these guys who make these cartoons, you know, Stan Lee being the most spiritually inclined, you know, uh, in my point of view, towards the scriptures, man, that 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 dude was cold. He understood the Bible, the real breakdowns of the Bible. Right. Let me get this real quick, cause um, this what Apocalypse seen when he looked into the TV. That's and it goes back to that that great Stan Lee saying, man, Marvel is a reflection of the world outside us. It's just in the cartoon. Um, it's the Psalms 82 and 5 that says uh -huh. they know not, neither do they under, neither will they understand. They are walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said ye are gods and all the children of the most high. This, the foundations of the world are out of course, man. That's right. the, the men want to be women, the women want to be men, the children want to be the parents, the parents want to be the goddamn children. Alright? They call them good, evil. Yep. They call an evil good. All right. But it also said right after that, you are the gods of the earth. Hey, he, he understood who the Israelites were. Ironically, you know, they they, they, they said um, he patented that Magneto and Professor Xavier, you know, after um, Martin, Luther, Martin, Martin Luther King and the Malcolm X, but then he went and made Magneto a Jew <clears throat> on top of that. <laughs> right. and, and he had him, him he was he was the mostly trying to save all the mutants, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That so that 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 whole his whole Marvel universe, not even going into Thor, or the Gardens of Ashdod. He he only had a Jake and Andrew's album. Yeah. With the big sword, and then he seen the seen the future. Yep, like God. Going into Thanos. Yep. Hey, and then Thanos, the character Thanos, he shows you your, your how shy. He shows you how it shot and his his thoughts and his way and him want to set up the earth. And he shows you the left hand side of it because he shows you Esau with Thanos. Yeah. He shows you how he wants to um do the population control. He wants to snap his fingers yeah. and erase half of the population. That's he shows you the thoughts of Esau <laughs> and he shows you glimpses of your was shot, man. That dude was a, a bad dude with with that with that, that cartoon shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, he was like a Jake or a very high level witch, man. Alright, but either way, man. He had great understanding of the scriptures, man. And, and speaking about um, speaking about uh, apocalypse, uh, you know, when the brother you, he brought up how when he looked around, he saw ships out of order. It remind me of the scripture. This is Psalms seventy three and twenty. It says, "As a dream when one awaketh, so O Lord, when you awakest, you shall despise their image, man." So hey, the Most High, man. When the Apocalypto woke up, he what the fuck? Hey, hey, look, he put his hand and he and he who he, he, he went and got he got the uh, the black woman. Yep. You know yep. he went and yep. got a storm, storm. man. Yep. And what she was doing, she was living in poverty. Mm -hmm. She was stealing from them Arabs and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And he took her and she showed him the TV and he see how she said the world power. Mm -hmm. He knew that this was the world's new power. Mm -hmm. And where was he from? Egypt, man. Mm -hmm. And they they tried to put him to death, man. They 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 they, they went against him. You know, they put him to death in the ancient world. Yeah. And what happened? He came back. Mm -hmm. He said, no, I've come back. When he told Magneto, I'll come back, my son. He said, where was you when my people was in slavery, basically? Because Magneto God. was a fake Jew. God. God. He said, so God. where was you when we was in slavery? Because that's how Jake feel yeah. about the Lord. Exactly. Where was Jesus? Where was, you know? Damn. That's how Jake feel about the Lord. That's when Magneto asked Apocalypse. And he said, I was gone, my son. Because mm -hmm. the Lord turned into during the time of slavery. The blacks, Latinos, and the Native Americans, the Israelites, the Most High had his face turned on us, man, because we were wicked. Come on, We were a wicked and sinful nation. Mm -hmm. But he told Magneto, the Jew, <laughs> he said, I've come back 
for you, my son. To, well, we gonna restore order. Starting with y'all. <laughs> and here we took the elect. He had a select few, man. Yeah. And everybody else was getting their ass dealt with. Yeah, they call them uh, the four horsemen. The, oh, yeah. man, yeah, yeah. yeah Damn, I forgot all about that. Yeah. And he had the uh, 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 the Archangel. Yeah, yeah. Remember he had the Archangel? Yeah. And he, he, he turned him up. He gave him his spiritual power. Mm-hmm. He, he, man. Hey, Stan Lee knew something, man. He knew a lot. <laughs> you know, a couple niggas know something. He knew a lot. He knew a lot. That's right. Uh, I got something. This is Job 10 and 22. It says, I'll start at 21. Before I go where I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death, a land of darkness as darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, and where the light is as darkness, man. And that's what the brother's getting into, man. Whenever these, um, whenever these arch nemesis uh, 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 came around, they would always, um, they'd, uh, they would always point out how the world was out of order, how yes. how, how, how mankind was in darkness. And they come with the light, you know what I'm saying? And that's what how Shai is doing, man. All right? But it's starting with his men. You know, we pointing out the darkness, the folly, the bullshit, the wickedness, man. And what? The whole world is a... Hey, we're, we're mutants to you motherfuckers. Oh, Salaki. <clears throat> now that you say that, it was a... It was a... It was a... Um, they show martial law. This, this, this saga of X-Men, this is like the third installment because you had the one that came out in about 93, 92... Then you had uh, uh, the one that came out in 2001, X-Men Evolution. Then you had, well, they was like in high school. Uh-huh. Then you had one that came out like 2008, 2010. It was called Wolverine and the X-Men. Mm-hmm. And, and they had the Martys. They had a squad called the Martys. And that was the martial law troops, man. And they showed you all the martial law troops. It was martial law. It was chaos. It was famine. It was everything all over. And Magneto was taking them to uh, the kingdom. Basically, he was taking them to the utopia. Mm-hmm. They showed him how, um, you know, the Lord was going to protect his children during that time, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, also in X-Men 3, what they showed you? The chip. The chip, yeah. They showed the you the chip. Yep. It was called the kill. And how they wanted all the mutants to be chip. Mm-hmm. They showed you that in X-Men 1, too. How the mm-hmm. senator, Magneto, remember he kidnapped his ass, turned him into a mutant. Yeah, But he yeah, couldn't yeah. take it, so he died. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Because this power is only for an Israelite, man. Damn. So X-Men 2... X Men uh, uh, One, X Men Three, uh, that that cartoon Wolverine and the X Men, and that's just going into that. Mm-hmm. Hey, Stan Lee was a bad motherfucker. Man. <laughs> he knew some shit. Man. Yeah, but that that one Wolverine and the X Men is crazy because that came out right around the time I came into truth and, and was really listening to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone heavily, and and, I, and they cut that that cartoon off. They cut that cartoon mm-hmm. off. They took it off the air. But that that was spiritual as fuck. All they showed was martial law, man. And then they showed the dudes who was doing it. Mm-hmm. They was called the upper something. They in they, they the regular X-Men. They ain't the first one. They called the upper. But it's a lot of dudes, man. And they sitting at the table. It's the Illuminati. Okay. They they all dress like uh, George Washington and all uh, them. They dressed old with the wig. Right, right. They dress, they draw, and they all sitting at a circle or sitting at a table. That's what, that's dude is part of them. The dude, Shaw. Who, who he played oh, the villain yeah, in yeah, X Men? Yeah. Sure. Kevin Bacon played him. Con, and that sure. one X Men, what was that X Men? Uh, that was. Um, it was like the fourth installment. Yeah, I forget, bro. Uh, first class, X Men First Class. But when you go on to the comic, you know, hey, hey, Stan Lee knew a lot, man. Uh, what you got? This is Luke twelve and two. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. Neither hid that shall not be known, man. That's perfect. So, hey, man. Uh, uh, the Lord used Stan Lee to, man, to, 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 to reveal a lot, man. All right? A lot of those X-Men movies, that those cartoons were spiritual, man. And they also revealed the uh, the coming future, man, on how shit would be, man. And he said it. He said, he said that in his speech mm-hmm. when he said that Marvel is the, the universe you can get on the earth. Yeah. He said uh, Marvel is the universe. It's the window. It's the world outside us. And this world is going to evolve, man. That's right. But he, that dude knew a lot. We can finish with that because he. This is more. This if he didn't know nothing, he knew this. He knew this. This is Matthew five and thirteen. It says, "I start at twelve. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you." And what what did uh, Stanley always show? Martial law. Martial law. He has men one and two. Yep. Yep. And he showed the the, the mutants would get persecuted 
by Esau, by Shit, humans. Shit, sloppy. X Men one, two, and three. The whole cartoon. Yep. The Sentinels. Yep. I done got and the Sentinels too, folks. Cause sometimes they'll be as the angels of the Lord. And sometimes they'll be as these robots and shit that Esau got for the mutants, man. Mm -hmm. Esau got these robots, man. That's right. It says, verse 13, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under, under, foot, under foot of men. Man. And that's what's happening to our nation because we're not being productive. Yep. All right, towards Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. That's why you brothers that's in this truth, we got to do the work to the best of our ability. We got to do as much as we can, as much as we can. All right, then we got to let our light shine before men. That's the next read. Verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven, man. Hey man, look, okay. with that being said, Stanley knew a lot, man, and you know, this is just a spiritual combo, but with that being said, right. call Halal. Yahweh, Ba'ashun, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashun, Ba'ashun, Double honor to our elders and the apostles of the great millstone, to the hopeful elect, Shalom. Shalom.